All right, it is time for turn eight of Early Lovers. Let's take a look-see. All right, so this province has been cleared. Um, hmm. What, what is over here? So I'm going to have this guy attack the province. This guy will go here. This guy should go here. Uh, yeah, okay. So, interesting. Okay, Caleb's capital is right here. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it makes a little bit more sense why he wanted all these provinces, because this cap is only right here. Okay. That makes me a little less miffed. This is more understandable. Um... He might he might fight me over like negotiate over this province, but I think he would let me have this one. I think he would let me do that, um, especially considering that it's so close to my cap. Um, both of these are like two provinces away. This is two provinces. This one's three. Um, but this this is actually technically in his cap circle, which is really weird. Um, so that's a little annoying. I'm actually glad I rushed that farm's land. Um, so I think what I'm going to end up do, doing is I am going to slowly meander my 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 profit down here to pick up these troops, and then I'm going to just basically walk to his capital. Um, I don't think there's really much of anything he can do to stop me outside of hitting Conjuration 3 and then getting um, Air Elementals, but um, I can maybe go into his cap and see if he's what he's been recruiting. If he is recruiting um, these guys early, the Eagle Kings, he is fucked. He is absolutely fucked. Um, these recruiting... So here's the thing. Recruiting the Slitter Recruit Mages in the early game will absolutely shit on your research. Now, it's cool if you can make it past that point and um, your research is okay because you have other forts and then you just have more of your slow to recruit mages. Then that in that case, that's cool. But if you're doing the early game and you get rushed, you are really fucking yourself hard. Um, look no further than my previous game. I recruited mothers or uh, crones of Avalon early and got severely punished for it. Um... So, that being said, I can build a... I want to preach here. I'm not going to build a temple <coughs> until, um, this... Until, like, the last turn of this, uh, palisade. Um, so, I'm going to preach there. We have two warlocks so far. Um... Okay, these guys can also assassinate. Who am I missing? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, uh, my, my, uh, my duder. El Duderino. Um, so, he here's the thing. Um, I would love to assassinate, if he is recruiting Eagle Kings, I would love to assassinate them. What makes me a little iffy on that is that they have awe. And my assassins actually have some pretty good morale. Even though he's an enemy dominion, he still has a morale of 14. That's pretty good. Um, this guy even has a morale of 13, which isn't bad either. Um, but the thing is, is like if the awe applies, he, they're just gonna get like electric shot or like shock grasp, shock, shocking grasp, and die immediately. Um, Let's see. Yeah, there's no other. W I don't think there's a way for my dude to avoid the shocking grasp, and I'm sure it's gonna get auto casted unless he has them scripted inside of his capital for some reason, which may very well be the case. I don't know the the guy, but um, he he may have done that. These guys are still meandering over down here because I'm pretty sure he's going to let me have these two. I would be surprised if he didn't. Um, so my 
my thought is that I'm gonna see what he what he has here. Um. <coughs> so, I'm also bringing up my Slayer. I don't think I'm gonna mess with Jabalba right now. I think going for Kalem early is probably gonna be my best move, especially if I can get this um for up. Um, if he has scouts over here and he sees me moving towards this way, that might um tip him off to the fact that I'm going to attack him. Let's see how many. <coughs> what turn would I would would I be attacking him? <laughs> One, two, three, four. That would be turn twelve. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I would be attacking him turn twelve or. Turn 11, I would take the province turn 12. Um, hmm. And then three turns. So by the time he gets here, this fort should be finished. Should be finished. Um, may, I'll probably cut production of these guys ju just to save up money to, to develop this fort <coughs> further. Um... Oh, you know what? Hold on. Hmm. I wonder if he's building a fort here. Because this guy is still standing here. He might be. If he's building a fort here, I'm just going to flat out assassinate him. And then, yeah, Caleb should be hardcore fucked. Um... Hmm. Or maybe his troops routed. I don't know. I don't know what happened here. Why does he just have a single commander here? Um. Who? Okay. That is a bit annoying. His commander has. An ice blade. Huh. 13 attack versus... I'm trying to figure out if it would be better to have a, a, a the stalker assassinate him. Or if it would be better if I had a, a demon bread try to assassinate him. The stalker has better defense skill. So he's less likely to get hit. But he's also ethereal. Which makes would be good if the dude had a... A non-enchanted weapon, but he has an ice blade. Um, so my demon bread would actually be more likely to survive a hit because he actually has like decent protection, at least on his body. His head's a bit exposed, but um, you know what? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a demon bread go up there. I'm gonna have these two goofballs go to this province here. Um. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Where is this guy sneaking off to? Oh, uh, the, the swamp. Okay. I should be able to get these four provinces. No problem. Maybe even more if I'm... Because it seems like Zabalba is not even expanding this way, which seems like a mistake. Um, I would think you would want to complete your cap circle by now, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, hmm. Recruitment's good. Let's take a peek at mercenaries. Maybe there's something interesting. Um, I forget. I think the city guard is just militiamen. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look at um mod ins mod inspector for this real quick. Down five mod inspector. What, what is it called? Uh, Bur Buralk. Buralk. City guard. Yeah, it's just militia. Okay. <laughs> 175 gold for militia. That sounds terrible. And, um, Satissa snatched up all the good commanders. Or, uh, mer mercs. So, yeah. Basically, that n none of that is, uh, gonna be what I'm going for. Um, I wonder where is. Spine Devils. <clears throat> you know, I might just start blood hunting now, to be honest. Um, I at least want to be able to get a handful of blood, uh, blood summons out while I can. And so, I 
think I'm going to go ahead and do that. <sighs> hmm. If I get a lab there, let's see, this will go up to 32, and then 16. So first, next turn, it would be, um, I would need 6, 36 more research. It would go up to 32, ooh, and then this would be another 9. Huh, maybe I should cut production for just a few of these guys. Is that greedy? That might be greedy. I'm gonna do it. Um, so this guy can research next turn, and then in um, not next turn, but the turn after, I should be able to blood uh, summon spine devils immediately. And so I'll be able, I'll be blood hunting and getting devils at the same time. I may, I might initially just blood hunt here just because um it already has a lab here but because it has an arena and i want as much gold as i get i might move to a different province probably this one and um and i might recruit oh perfect i'm gonna recruit these guys these guys are gonna ferry my blood sl slaves so basically if you don't want to pay money for a lab you can recruit like scouts <coughs> to ferry your blood slaves from your warlocks to to like a place with a lab and so you can get around paying for a lab but um as you can see i am fucking poor because i just bought a lab here um so yeah i'm gonna do that eventually but for now i'm just gonna blood hunt this province it's not gonna be that big of a deal um, just early game so I can get as many blood slaves as possible and start getting spine devils because I'm going to need it. Um, yeah. Do I want to send this guy or the astral to? Hmm. Does it really matter? I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah. We'll send, we'll send this go goofball over there. Okay. Um... I think that's everything I can do. I don't think I can do anything else. Did I ever send him a, a, a message to McConan? Eh, he's fine. I don't think he hates me. Oh, I forgot to put PD in here. That's fine. We'll put three there for now because I'm broke. But, um, ooh, 21 unrest. Why is it that high? Might be, uh... A magic site here like a I don't think it would be a villain's den because it would be higher but it might be like it might be a blood site that'd be interesting maybe I should search uh, uh, cast bowl of blood on there eventually um, well, where do I get bowl of blood is it three blood three no bowl of blood bowl of blood oh here you go Five. Five blood slaves, yeah. I'll cast it on that province eventually, just to see if there's like a... Because uh, um, usually unrest um, that's this high is an indication of a magic site that might cause it. I hope... I don't think it's a villain, uh, a brigand's lair. Brigand's lair sucks. I hate brigand's lair. It causes a bunch of unrest, and their, recruit, their recruitment from them is terrible. Um, yeah, sorry. I got sidetracked. I think that's everything for this turn. I think I'm just going to go ahead and end it, because there's nothing else to do. How many dudes do I still have left? Not too bad. Only four dudes have afflictions, and I still have 20 of them left after expanding with them. So that's pretty good. I'm going to have a, a little bit less troops, but that's OK. Uh, the things we do to get uh, labs up, right? So all right. End my turn, and I'll see you next time.